With that out of the way, let's move on to our second main topic today. And our second main topic today gets submitted to us by Matthew Jacobsmeyer, who writes, Here we go again. Now the novelization of The Last Skywalker says that the kiss between Kylo and Rey <laughs> wasn't romantic. It was a kiss of gratitude, acknowledgement of their connection, celebrating that they had found each other at last. All right. Thanks a lot for saying that in, Matthew. And for those of you who don't know what Matthew is talking about, yesterday we talked at length about the fact that, again, you know, Star Wars showed its massive inconsistency at this point. They kind of portrayed the Emperor in the movie as being one thing. Then in the visual dictionary, the official visual dictionary of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, they brought up a whole bunch of weird concepts that was never at all uh, remotely inferred in the movie. And then the, the novelization came out, and the novelization says that Palpatine in this movie was actually a clone. And, and I went off on that, and I know a bunch of you guys were upset by that too. So now there's another example that's just come out, which seems to contradict the movie again. Here's the passage in particular from The Rise of Skywalker and why I am actually surprisingly not bothered by it. Here it is. This is the passage in particular. Now, we all, of course, know the scene, the absolutely, utterly preposterous, ridiculous, nonsensical, idiotic scene in The Rise of Skywalker when Ray wakes up and her and Kylo start making out. Okay, that was so, it was just so dumb. Anyway, now, as the headlines are saying, apparently that was just a kiss of gratitude. Here's what was written in the novelization. His heart, talking about Kylo, his heart was full as Ray reached for his face, let her fingers linger. I feel like I should be smoke in a smoking jacket reading this, Rob. I don't know why. I'm like, uh, <laughs> His heart was full as Ray reached for his face and let her fingers linger against his cheek. And then, wonder of wonders, she leaned forward and kissed him. A kiss of gratitude, acknowledgement of their connection, celebration that they had found each other at last. But then she drew back, concern on her face. She could feel him grow cold. Ben smiled at her. He had given Ray back to the galaxy. It wouldn't atone for the darkness he had wrought but it is what he could do. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So given that little, uh, that little passage there, a bunch of people understandably started writing to me, Rob, saying, now they're saying that that kiss was just a kiss of gratitude. Now, look, if you saw the movie, and the movie made over a billion dollars, so a hell of a lot of you did. If you saw the movie, no, it effing wasn't a kiss of gratitude. That was clearly in the movie a very passionate moment. It was a very passionate kiss. It was not a kiss of gratitude. I've given kisses of gratitude to people. It don't look like that. Okay, uh, it, it just that's it. It was what it was. You can say whatever you want to say in the novels. That was not a kiss of gratitude. But Rob, the reason I'm not bothered by this <laughs> is actually because of this. I don't believe that... The, I look at the passage... Look, I saw all the headlines, right? I saw all the headlines. The, the book just says it was a kiss of gratitude. I'm like, that's stupid. And then I went and read the passage, and I'll tell you what. The way I read the passage, Rob, I don't feel like the passage at all suggests that all this was was a kiss of gratitude. Let's look at this again. It lists gratitude as one of several things. She leaned him and kissed him. A kiss of gratitude. Acknowledgement of their connection. A celebration mm. that they had found each other at last. See, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just in a forgiving mood today. But I read that and I personally don't see it saying it wasn't a kiss of passion. I just see them listing a whole bunch of things that it was. But I don't see it saying it was exclusively a quick peck on the cheek of gratitude. Hey, thanks, buddy. I, I know. A gratitude, one thing, one expression, acknowledgement of their connection, another, and a celebration that they had found each other at last. See, t to me, Rob, I almost wish that this was saying it was just a kiss of gratitude, but it's not. It, it really is. I think this is completely consistent with what we saw in the movie. The movie clearly made it obvious it was a kiss of passion. 
And right. I don't see anything in this passage personally that contradicts that. It just lists a bunch of things that was all also in that kiss. And so I don't personally see it as a, as a, as a um, contradiction. Although I hated the scene in the movie, I almost <laughs> wish it was contradicted. But again, I, I don't think, and you know me, I'm ready to, to go off on yet more contradictions in the novelization of the movie. But I got to be honest, I looked at it and... I see it being completely consistent with the movie. I don't know, Rob, you had a chance to take a look at this passage. What did you think about it? <sighs> well, I, I, I you guess... want my smoker's jacket? Look, I, you know, I, I read this, and the way I, I didn't see it is, dude, they're on Exegol. They're, they're confronting Palpatine. I mean, I just don't think that, you know, hot-blooded, Twilight-esque passion between force users was really in the offing here I, i'd like to think that it was um you, you know there was a connection and it was more like we're gonna die <laughs> you know it's and and whatever happens we're going out together and i'm acknowledging that in this dark horrible empty universe we have some kind of a connection whatever that means and i, I think there was a lot going on in in that kiss but the way it was described, it it almost was from uh, in the way it's described in this book. It's like, oh, you know, what could have been between us, my love? I don't think it was that way at all. You know, <laughs> it's just the way it was described. I'm like, um, yeah, the situation is a little dire here. <laughs> we're not we're not exactly in a position where the sun is setting and uh, where the cool breeze is is blowing and. We shared but remember, a moment. they had already won. They had won by that point, right? Did so, they? like by that, po yeah. I Did mean, they? like the em the emperor was dead. Uh, the the fleet was gone. She had died. She had apparently died in in, in you know in killing the emperor. So, I think you know. Then she woke up. Was like, oh, we won, and I'm alive, and you're here, and let me stick my tongue in your mouth. I I, yeah. I don't know. It just uh, I, uh, I, I, yeah. But still, I mean, it it, it still was the culmination of fighting the ultimate evil and you murdered your yeah. father and like it was it's not exactly we didn't just finish having a a couple of uh, pina coladas at the beachfront <laughs> bar here i mean this was there was some dire straits leia's dead your mom's gone you never got to say goodbye to her properly except via the force you murdered your father luke's dead i mean you know uh it's it's the culmination of nine movies i just don't think anyone was real hot and bothered yeah, so I agree. All right, guys. The question is this: What do you think about this particular outing from the novelization as well? Do you, like a lot of other people, see this as saying that nope, that was they're saying that the movie thing was just not really what it looked like, or are you kind of like me saying I I don't know I read it and I don't see it being a contradiction. I don't know. How do you guys feel about it? Jump into the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right. 